Thank you so much. The piece that you just heard is known as a cornerstone of the concert band repertoire, especially for ninth grade. Mr. Grunman, I grew up all my life optimistically hoping that, yes, we have a, a prominent woman composer, but Claire was, was a man. So Mr. Grunman took tunes from 19th century Kentucky and created a very famous and well-crafted medley of them. The first tune that you heard was a hearty church hymn. Sort of they were grateful for their new land and what they had endured. It was mostly carried by the clarinets, the baritones, and the tenor saxophones. It was called the Promised Land. That was followed by a lover's lament called I'm Sad and Lonely. Good title there. Uh, where we featured the flutes and later the baritones, oboes, tenor saxophones, and clarinets join them on the melody. We finished with a rousing version of the country love song, Cindy, with trumpet solos by Elliot Rickert. And then again, it closes in a coda or an ending that again brings back the promised land. Moving on to the music of James Swearingen, another big composer. The composer James Swearingen had a hero, and that hero was his father. And his father disarmed bombs against the Nazis in World War II. James, the son, James Jr., was frequently overwhelmed with gratitude, he writes, for the bravery of his father and all of the men and women that fought and still fight for our freedoms. His father humbly said, whenever people thanked him, that he was simply doing his job. This beautiful tribute passes melody throughout the band, but has important roles for trumpet, flute, clarinet, and horn, covered by saxophone here. Listen for a snippet from various patriotic tunes, such as America, in the trumpets right away, Auld Lang Syne, remembering old lost friends, in the middle, and a chunk of America the Beautiful, in the upper woodwinds at the end. We feature several trumpet players, Elliot Rickard, Drew Bainbridge, and David Klein. We hope you enjoy Lest We Forget.
Thank you so much. This next piece has been a band classic for way longer than I've been alive, many decades, and is on 23 state contest lists. That just means that it's very, very well respected in the country. It's been kind of a benchmark for freshmen, and they have definitely lived up to this benchmark to play this piece well. Uh, the piece is called Three Airs from Gloucester. Uh, they pronounce things a little differently than we will if you look at your program. It depicts a time where common British folks lived in the shadows of foreboding castles. Due to preparation time, the students voted to learn and perform two movements for you tonight. The ones that they chose, the first, the Jolly Earl of Chumley, that's actually how you say it, if you look at it, nothing like what it looks like, taught us to play in a British band style, which they have their own very rich tradition, cut time, and to play in the key of concert F. We'll feature Maura, feature Maura Judd on clarinet, as well as Ryan DeLosier on trumpet. The, final movement, the third movement that they chose, is called the Fifes of Wembley. It relies heavily, because of the word fife, as you would imagine, relies heavily on the flute section as well as the percussion. But you'll hear a few segments depicting traditional brass bands thrown in the middle there. We hope you enjoy two of the three airs from Gloucester. Thank you so much. 
Our final piece for the evening is called The Last Full Measure, and it came from a speech by Abraham Lincoln where he mentions that our troops at Gettysburg gave their last full measure of devotion in that battle. You will hear some well-known tunes and some beautiful music from that era that maybe you don't know yet. When Johnny Comes Marching Home is probably the most recognizable for us, but you'll really enjoy the haunting, yearning quality of Johnny Has Gone for a Soldier, sung by the woman left behind. It's just as captivating. Finally, the battle cry of freedom and battle hymn of the Republic bring up feelings of pride in our country and in our veterans. We heavily feature throughout the whole middle of the piece eight students in the fife and drum section, so I want to recognize them now. These will be Alex Hager and Ethan Dietz on snare and field drum, Isaac Wall on oboe, Maura Judd on clarinet, Shaked Ben Harush, Marta Hill, Sophie Seewald, and Sam Klepfer on flute. Let's, uh, we'll give it up for them right after this. However, we do want to take a moment, and if you are a veteran, or are currently serving in the Army, the National Guard, the Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, or Marines, please stand as you are able so that we can recognize and thank you for your service. Thank you to all of the parents who have strongly supported the program and your students all year to produce one of the strongest ninth grade bands that we've seen at Park. It is very exciting to see how they will enrich the program in the years to come. We hope they enjoyed the jazz band performance and we hope that many of them try out as there are openings in every section, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, and rhythm section. We very strategically, I guess we being me, very strategically <laughs> places the freshman with the jazz band for, for those reasons. Tomorrow night, you can enjoy more great music from amazing students. The symphonic band and wind ensemble will be performing their final concert for the year. There will also be a senior slideshow and presentation of four nationally recognized awards. We hope to see you there tomorrow night, same place, same time. Thank you so much for spending part of your evening with us and supporting your child and music. That is so important. Thank you and drive safely.
Hi, I'm Ellie Cook. Um, I've been working with your kids for the past year as a TA and freshman band, and I just want to say that they're all such amazing kids, and they're really going to go far in life. <laughs>